Hi everyone, my name is Leyani and today we're going to talk about the Sencha plugin. The goal of this screencast is to show you how to install the Sencha Clips plugin and also how to start using it to create a project in Eclipse and use all the features that comes with the Sencha Clips plugin, which is the auto-completion. As you might be aware of, Sencha recently released the Sencha Complete and the Sencha Complete Team, which are two bundles that comes with the Sencha products. And one of these products is the Sencha Eclipse plugin. So, so if we take a look at the Sencha Complete, you will see that it comes with the Sencha Architect, Sencha Touch, and Touch Charts. It comes with XJS, the commercial version, also comes with the Sencha mobile packaging and also with the Sencha Eclipse plugin, which is the product that we're going to talk about today. So I already downloaded the Sencha Complete and I have it right here. It's the trial version, okay? What the installer does, it's only to unzip all the products into a directory of your choice okay so i already installed it and as you can see it has all the the zip files it comes with xjs it comes with the Sencha eclipse plugin with the Sencha touch and also with the Sencha architect but we right now we are only interested in the Sencha eclipse plugin so i'm going to unzip it and i'm going to open it uh, and as you can see Right here, we also have five files, okay? The first thing that we are going to do is take a look at this file right here, which describe us how to install it and how to start using it. Please take a few minutes and read all this file right here. But we're going to do everything that is described in this file. If you take a look right here, the first thing that we need to do is install and run Eclipse. And it also comes with a specific version of Eclipse with it, the Eclipse and Digo. So if you take a look right here, you're going to open this page and then you're going to download the version. You can download this version right here, the Eclipse ID for Java EE developers. And it has versions for all three operational systems. Then you choose the one that fits the operational system that you are using. I already downloaded and also installed Eclipse, so I have it open right here. This is a brand new installation, okay, so I don't have any plugins installed, anything. Okay, so it's just plain simple Eclipse. Okay, so let's go back to the file that we were reading. Now it asks us to install the, the VJet and XJS extension plugins. So what we are going to do, and if you take a look right here, and it's, go and it's going to ask to unzip the archive for the latest version of the Sencha Eclipse plugin, and okay. So what we're going to do is go back. Go back right here, and the plugin itself is this one, the Sencha Trial. So we're also going to unzip it as, as you can see right here, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to install this plugin. And you go to install new software, and you click on add, and um, it is a local, and what I'm going to, I'm just going to select the directory that I installed the plugin and it is this one. So I'm just going to click on open and here Sencha Eclipse plugin. I can give the name that I want. So okay, it is a 30-day trial. As this is the trial version, if you buy it, you will have the full version, okay? And also you will have access to all the updates and new releases. So I'm going to install here and it's very simple to install this plugin. All you need to do is click on next, next, next. So I'm going to wait until it goes to the next 
page and, and then I, I'll be back here. Uh, it can take a little while until it calculates all the requirements and dependencies. Be right back. Okay, so now we are on the second screen of the installation and all we need to do is also click on next. And now we just need to accept all the license terms and click on finish and then it's going, it is going to install it for us. This can take a little while. And during the installation you can get this warning, you can just click on OK. And then just wait until it finishes the installation. After it is installed, Eclipse is going to ask you to restart, so you just need to restart. So after Eclipse restarted and opened again, um, you will see it will open this welcome page and you will see these two new items here in the home page, okay? Uh, if you want to, you can spend a few minutes reading and taking a look. And then we're going to go back to the manual and you will see that we need to import the XJS type library, okay? Uh, either you can use the 407 or the 41, okay? So what, you, what we need to do is click on File, Import, and then General, Existing Projects, and then click on Next, and then choose the archive file. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm here in the Project Explorer, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click on Import, choose this one right here, General um, Existing Projects into Workspace and then I'm going to choose a archive file and then going back right here to the Sencha Complete and this is the plugin and you can choose the XJS type library 407 or 411 okay you can only you you can only use one at a time you cannot use both okay so I'm going to choose the 411 and I'm going to click on open and then I'm going to click on finish and there you go uh, you don't need to worry about all these warnings and all these errors that you're going to get if you get any okay this is um it's not going to do anything so now we we want to create a new project okay just to use the the plugin feature such as the auto completion so i'm going to right click i'm going to click a choose a new project and right here, if I just uh, scroll down a little bit, I will see the VJAT and then VJAT project. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to uh, give my project a name, which is a which is test. Okay, I'm also going to add to work at the to add the project to the working sets, and then I'm going to click on next. This is a very important uh, part of the setup of the project, okay? Here on projects, we're going to add this one right here as a required project. So I'm going to click on add and select this one right here and click on OK. Now I can choose finish and I'm also going to open the widget perspective. So here it is. And I can um, create packages and I also can create files. So I'm going to click right here, create a... Going to create other. If I come back here again at the widget, I will see all the types of files that I can create. So I'm going to choose a JavaScript source file. I'm going to name it test and I'm going to click on finish. So if I go here, I will see it's in the full package, my file right here. Okay, so now we can start using, okay? So let's try to define a class. So XT and, and as you can see, the auto completion, it is working. So define 
and already choose my class name so let's see app dot view dot my button okay and I'm going to save it and for a button um, the button it's going to extend so if I hit control space you will see that again auto completion so it my button it's going to extend um, xt button button class and okay I can start right now again I'm going to choose the config so I can um, I can set all the configurations that I want so for example for the button let's see and here we have all the configurations and properties for buttons okay so for example is that a text okay I'm going to uh, text for my button it's um, click me Okay, and then you have the plugin working. And then you can start creating all your XJS projects and use the features of auto-completion, okay? Uh, once, one thing that you can see is that, for example, when I, when I am defining a, cl a class, okay, I need to use this config right here just to set all the configurations that I want. But for example, let's say we want to create so again using the auto completion i'm going to create a button so xt button button the plugin does not have the auto completion for the um, xjs class names yet so, so this one you need to do it yourself so again and now as you can see when i try to create i have all the properties right here ready to use okay so i can have again the text and one thing that it's really nice you'll see oh text and uh, it shows right here the documentation the description of the documentation so it is really nice and again click me well that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this could help you in any way if you were struggling struggling a little bit to install it and start using the, the plugin. And thanks very much for watching. Bye!